Hey guys, did you know that I have a Patreon where you can support me and plus get awesome rewards? Or if you're thinking to yourself, but Julian, I want even more bang for my buck while still supporting you, you can pop over to my Redbubble and check out my awesome store with new designs appearing regularly. But for now, enjoy the video you're about to watch. Hey guys, it's me, Julian Greystoke. Today I'm wearing this awesome Black Panther shirt. It has my wife, Okoye, on it. Today we're going to do a really fun tag, well, fun for me, tag that I stole from Adrian. I just threw my pen. That I stole from Adrian at Stripped Cover Lit. Uh, go check out his channel if you are interested. He's an asshole, that's why I like him. Uh, he does a lot more classics and poetry reviews than me, which is to say I don't do any of that, so by default he does more than me. But he also does a Harry Potter series that I am kind of addicted to because he kind of tears it apart and you know how I love to tear things apart. So anyway, I stole this tag from him and it is the 50 questions you've never been asked tag, which is apparently going around. I don't know, I don't know things. If you hear talking in the background, it is my husband in the next room doing some recording of his own. So don't be alarmed, we're not haunted. Let's just get underway. It took me like half an hour to write down all these fucking questions. Question the first, what is your favorite candle scent? I like anything that smells vaguely like food like cookies or pie. Uh, cloves are one of my favorite smells. I have like a clove candle that I'm too lazy to go get, but it smells amazing. Jane is, oh, Jane is here. Question two is, which female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Like Adrian, I am really not up on celebrities, so that's a problem. I'm gonna go with JK Rowling because then I could like ride her coattails to fame. Everybody would accuse me of doing that and say that my books aren't as good, but here's the thing, my books would be good and the joke would be on all of you and plus I would just have a really easy time getting published because I'm JK Rowling's sister, bitches. Which male celebrity do you wish was your brother? I wish that Benedict Cumberbatch was my brother because he seems like a really sweet guy and he would make a great brother who would be super fun to be around. So there. Question 4. How old do you think you will be when you marry? When I marry, huh? If you hear talking in the background, it is my husband in the next room. I don't know. It's a mystery. Question 5. Do you know someone who is a hoarder? Nope. Question six, can you do the splits? <laughs> no, and I could never do the splits. I am probably the least flexible person in the world. Seven, how old were you when you learned to ride a bike? I don't remember, I was a little kid. Question eight, how many oceans have you swum in? Is it swum or swam? How many oceans have you swam in? I don't know, I'm a writer and I don't know. But the answer to the question is zero. I have looked at an ocean, I just didn't swum in it. Question nine, how many countries have you visited? Shit, hang on. So, I think it's two. I think the answer is two. We have been to the UK and to Ireland. Is anyone in your family in the army? Well, do you mean the army or the military? If the answer is army, then no one, because my husband was in the army, but he is not anymore. If you mean in the military, that's a lot more people. Uh, my father was in the National Guard, my brother is in the National Guard. Many of my relatives long past were in the military, including my grandmother who was a nurse overseas. She was awesome. Question 11, what would you name your daughter if you had one? Well, I don't plan to have kids, but I also really like the name Roxanne. However, my husband hates it, so it's a good thing we're never going to have kids. Next question, what would you name your son? Um, Titus, Titus Benjamin would be his name. I have already named a book character Titus, so technically I think that is my son now. I don't know the rules. Question 13, what is your worst grade on a test? I don't remember. You guys, I'm really old and it's been a hot minute since I took any tests that were graded, but I'm sure it was math related. I am 100% certain that it was math related. Number 14, what was your favorite TV show as a kid? That's gonna have to go to Arthur on PBS. Yes, I was a basic bitch. 
Arthur was my jam. Question 15. What did you dress up as for Halloween when you were eight? Okay, when my brother and I, who were the firstborn, were younger, our parents were kind of still trying to impress the other religious families around us, and so we weren't allowed to do Halloween, although that didn't really matter because we lived out in the country, so we couldn't go trick-or-treating anyway, and I only got invited ever to one Halloween party where I dressed as a princess, but I don't remember how old I was. Question 16. Have you read Harry Potter, The Hunger Games, and Twilight? I've read Harry Potter and I've read The Hunger Games. I have not read Twilight, nor will I ever. Question 17. Would you rather have an American or British accent? Well, that's pretty broad. What kind of British accent are we talking about here? I wouldn't mind a Scottish accent or an English accent or any other, really, I, I mean British, really any flavor of British accent would make me happy. I have a Wisconsin... American accent, and that's just impressing absolutely zero people. Sorry the light is so weird, it's sunset right now, so it's just, it's, it's doing this. I got a bandolier of light going on, and that, we'll just pretend it's intentional, shall we? Question 18, did your mom go to university? Yes, she did. Question 19, are your grandparents still married? Yes, both sides of my grandparents were married, although one side of them are dead. Question 20, have you ever taken karate lessons? Question 21, do you know who Kermit the Frog is? It's not so easy being green. Spending every day the color of the leaves. Question 22. What was the first amusement park you visited? There's an amusement park near us called Bay Beach, which is a small little amusement park with only one roller coaster. It's got a big slide. I think that was it. Question 23. Which language would you like to be fluent in? Um, ASL. 24. Do you spell it gray, G-R-A-Y, or gray, G-R-E-Y? Even though I am American, I spell it G-R-E-Y because I think it looks better. I'm going to make some editors very angry with me. Question 25. Is your father bald? Nope. Question 26. Do you know triplets? Sounds sounds like, a, like an alien or something. I think it should be, do you know any triplets? I don't, and this question is weird. Titanic or The Notebook? Uh, Titanic, because I haven't seen The Notebook. And I don't plan to. Have you ever had Indian food? Yep. What is your favorite restaurant? Well, my favorite restaurant used to be this place called Old Country Buffet, which was this sweet little buffet that was a big part of my childhood. We always used to go there to hang out with relatives. However, that has since closed, so now I think Red Lobster is my favorite. It's expensive, and we only really get to go there like once a year for our anniversary, but I have an addiction to shrimp, so... Question 30. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? You can belong to a warehouse store? Okay, I know what this means. Like, are you a member of any warehouse store, like, special clubs? And I am not. Have you ever been to Nando's? That's an alien word, right? I don't know what that is. Neither did Adrian. What is that? What is Nando's? Nando's is an international casual dining restaurant chain originating in South Africa. No. I have not been there. Question 32. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I have no idea. My dad named me and I don't think they had a plan. Question 33. What is your nickname? Well, most people call me Julian. My real name is Emily, but I'm not very fond of it because it's a very, very common name. And fun fact, we cannot be friends if you call me M or Emmy. Don't do it. Don't do it. I see you going down to the comments to immediately call me those things. Don't do it. Think about your life choices. Number 34. Favorite person in the world. The person who resists the urge to go down into the comments section and call me M or Emmy. 35. Live in the country or the city? I would much rather live in the country. I hate living in the city. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Hate it, hate it. Hate it. Hate it, hate it. Question 36. Can you whistle? Not well, or consistently. 37. Do you sleep with a night light? I used to when I was little, but now I like it pitch black when I sleep. Pitch black. 
like my soul. Question 38, do you eat breakfast? Yes, because I have to. I work a first shift job and I don't get lunch until noon, which means that if I don't eat breakfast, I will die halfway through my morning. Just face plant, straight under the floor, dead. Question 39, do you take any daily pills or medications? I do not. We'll see, I'm getting older. The next question is, do you have any medical conditions? Yes, I do, and none of them can be assisted by pills or medications. One of them is called Renault Syndrome, which means that the blood vessels to my hands constrict when e they're even a little bit cold. So, like, you know how when you're freezing to death, your body is like, um, abandon the limbs, protect the core, try to keep the core warm. My hands decide to do that, like, immediately, as soon as they're a little bit cold. In fact, they're very cold right now, and the, there's not a lot of blood to my hands most of the time, which is why I tend to drop things and, and sometimes have, like, some lack of sensation in my hands. So that's fun. There's really nothing that you can do about that. I also have TMJ, which means that sometimes my jaw locks open. That's fun as well, and also probably as a product of my TMJ, I have tinnitus. For a video about tinnitus, links in the doobly-doo, but it just means I have a constant ringing in my ears. And when I say constant, I do mean constant. It is all the time. It never goes away. It's just, yes. And none of those things have cures or treatments or anything. Jane, what are you- Ah! Jane! You killed Kermit! You all saw that, right? Jane killed Kermit in cold blood! Damn! Question 41. Ooh, we're getting there, we're getting there. How many times have you been to the hospital? Not very many, because again, I'm a very hardy person. Usually the only time I have to go to the emergency room is when my jaw gets stuck open and nobody can get it popped back into place again. Question 42. Have you seen Finding Nemo? Yes, I have. But I agree with Adrian that this is a really random movie to be asked about, and I'm sure that I've been asked this in real life before, so it doesn't even really work for this quiz. I don't know why this is on here. Question 43. Where do you buy jeans? Usually at thrift stores. I almost never buy anything new except for awesome shirts. Question 44. What was the last compliment you got? Oh, hang on. I gotta get my phone for this. This is good. You guys, this is so great, and I don't even know how to process it because people don't compliment me very often. So, you guys, the other day I opened up my Twitter to literally the nicest thing in the history of nice things. Uh, a very, very nice person on Twitter said, You know who's amazing and vastly underrated? Julian Greystoke. Seriously, why does no one worship this woman? I like this guy already. She's wonderful. She actually makes me want to better myself. I would love to call this woman a friend. Seriously, go follow her. She's super awesome. This kid. I need them to be my agent or something. Their name is Connor. They are the best. Thank you, Connor, for this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful compliment. Usually people on the internet are not so nice. Question 45. Do you usually remember your dreams? I do quite often, and also, fun fact, I am a lucid dreamer, so I often have a lot of control in my dreams. Question 46, what kind of tea do you like? I like um, spicy teas, uh, stuff with cinnamon, or sometimes like black teas. I don't like herbal teas, and I do not like fruit teas. Question 47, how many pairs of shoes do you own? I don't know, not that many. Now if the question was how many pairs of boots do you own? Embarrassingly large amount. Jane is back after his murder spree. Poor Kermit. Question 48. What religion would your kids practice? An advantage to never having kids is never having to answer this pesky question. So I'm just... Ha! Question 48. How old were you when you learned that Santa Claus was fake? We never believed in Santa Claus. Fun fact. Uh, my mom was an artist and she used to do a lot of craft shows, especially around Christmas time. And at those craft shows, there would often be a Santa. And I was terrified of this person because I knew that Santa Claus was not real. And so a strange man would come up to me and start asking me questions and ask me to sit on his lap. 
I usually hid under the table whenever Santa was walking around. And question 50, holy cow, we made it! I've sort of given myself permission to make this video as long as it needs to be. The question is, why? Do you have a vlog? The simplest answer is that I'm really full of myself and believe the rest of the world also needs to be subjected to this, all of this. How long has this fluff been on my shoulder? The real answer is probably closer to this. I am a person with a lot of passions and I have a great desire to share those passions with other people. However, that's incredibly hard for me to do in real life. For one thing, I'm an introvert, so I don't tend to be around a lot of people. And for the next thing, I have social anxiety, so when I get around a lot of people, chances are slim that I'm going to actually start talking to them. And then you have to find people who are interested in talking about the things that you're interested about. And then then I have the problem of people talking over me or stopping listening to me halfway through. So having a vlog means that I can easily be found by people who are actually interested in talking about what I'm talking about. It allows me to get all of my thoughts and feelings out there all in one fell swoop. Because it's a video, everyone here is already ready to sit down and listen, and then we can always talk about it later in the comments. So basically... This is how I socially interact. This and, you know, other social media is the best way for me to socially interact because of all of the factors we previously discussed. So, it's because I want to share my passions, and if you're watching this, you love to share them right along with me. So, thank you so much for being one of those people who's, who is watching this and who made it all the way to the end. Wow. Pat yourself on the back, friendo. This was a bit of a trip. And of course, don't forget everyone that I post new videos Mondays and Fridays. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo for ease of clicking. Don't forget everyone that if you liked what you saw here today and wish it was higher quality, and I don't blame you, I wish that too, you can support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. I am very slowly trying to save up from donations on Patreon towards getting a new camera or better equipment. It's going very slowly. I have $10 so far. We'll get there. It's gonna be a minute, but we'll get there. And Jane says, we will see you again next time with whatever it is we happen to be doing next time. Bye! Do the, do the wave. Do the, do the, bye! What's up everybody? It is shout out time. Time to shout out to my very first patron, Kim. And if you wanna be cool like Kim, become a patron over on Patreon.